you have to learn about the OLED screens. They are maybe used for the device you are using right now to watch the video. OLED stands for organic light emitting diode. So we've got this OLED screen here. Let's see how it works. We'll start by turning it off so that we can see the individual pixels. Each of these tiny dots is an OLED pixel. It's like a tiny light bulb. When it's turned on, it glows. When it's turned off, it doesn't glow. If we turn the power on, we get a beautiful, bright, colorful image. But how does this tiny pixel light up when electricity is applied? Well, let's take a closer look at one of these pixels. At the very center of this OLED pixel, we have a really cool material called an emissive layer. This layer is only a few molecules thick, but it's responsible for emitting light. Now, in order for light to be emitted, we need to pass electricity through this emissive layer. But in order to do that, we need to have a positive and negative terminal. And this is where these two other layers come in. We have a whole transport layer and an electron transport layer. Electrons like to hang out in the electron transport layer, while positively charged holes like to hang out in the whole transport layer. So now we can apply power. Electrons will flow from the negative terminal through the emissive layer while the holes will flow from the positive terminal through the emissive layer. When an electron and a hole collide, they will recombine. And during that recombination, the electron will emit energy in the form of light and return to its original state. So we have three different layers. The hole transport layer, the emissive layer, and the electron transport layer. But why do we need these layers? Well, the neat thing about this middle layer the emissive layer is that it's a very special material. The electrons and holes can travel through it very easily, but light cannot. So this layer acts as a barrier to keep the light from escaping. The hole transport layer and the electron transport layer, on the other hand, are made from materials that light can pass through easily. But electrons and holes have a much harder time traveling through them. So these layers act as barriers to keep the electrons and holes confined to the emissive layer where they belong. And that's how we get light emission from an OLED pixel. They just pass electricity directly through the pixels in the screen to produce light. This is the most efficient way to make light which is why OLED screens are so bright and vibrant and because each pixel can be controlled individually you get perfect black levels just pure beautiful light 